Okay, Dawn came back again. Well, I, <laughs> this is what you get when you change a lot of things at once. <laughs> I went through there and put uh, um, compression on the cam, audio cam 3. Let's go ahead and get back up on the board and desktop. So on audio cam 3, I put compression, this one here. And then on the mic aux, I put compression, same amount on both of them. And I wanted to be able to use compression, you know, so that it'll catch those extra loud and <clears throat> not sounds. I didn't realize it, but I, I actually didn't have compression turned on in audio cam three. I guess I had trouble with it, weaken the signal too much. Let's turn it on along. Too much. Let's Check turn it on along two. with this one. Check one two. Yeah. Yeah. Check one two. So it's uh, that's more like it used. That's more normal. Check one two. Check. Check one, two, put my head down, check. Hmm. I think there's um, some compression in the audio software on the phone itself. So, uh, But the noise gate's really helpful. I remember that. If I don't, there's all kinds of background noise. And check one, two. And now see, I've got the SM58 on Unity, and it's still clipping when I like, clack my tongue. So I think I shouldn't have raised the sound preferences i'm going to go ahead and okay i'll do i'm going to test both of these mic this one and the bluetooth and then i'll probably go ahead and back off on this input uh, on the computer check one two that's a unity on it on the bluetooth check yeah it looks well it's kind of doing the same thing just not quite as much maybe about the same check one two so, and what, what I believe I'm getting into, okay, now if I back off a little bit, it'd probably be okay. Check one, two, yeah. Now on the SM58, normally I have it up like at two o'clock instead. Immunity's 12 o'clock. <clears throat> and uh, check one, two. Oops, move that way. Check one, two. Check one, two. Yeah, without that, that compressor was really helping. So if I, I can, I know I'll do it. Check one, two. If I, uh, then again, the SM58 may be, just because it's a, such a much better of a mic, it may not distort, even though it's hitting better. So that's kind of helpful. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check, check, check. I can have it too low. Uh, if I don't have enough gain in, on the mixer, then it won't. Compressor won't uh, won't let it through in, in the effects unit here, and I don't remember how to change those settings. And they work really well once you get your grain. This is gain structure I'm working on. So uh, uh, if you get your gain structure right, then. but see if you have too much check, if you have too much input setting, too much check. <clears throat> if you have too much on the computer, but this is, you know, I. I I had it all working really good in the Lenovo i5 for years, but this is Dell's server, so, uh, the HP server DL G, G80 G7. I don't know why the DL in the server name in the model number makes me always mess up Dell. <coughs> but um, what I was planning on doing is making a video of doing these, how the, how I do these settings and stuff. <laughs> Bunch of test videos that are turning into the video. I, I may, the last time, well, the last time I did a bunch of them, I just got through and plugged 12 of them yesterday. Just going, well, these are videos that are, you know, helping show what, what goes on and what the deal is. So, um, what I'm going to do, well, let me go ahead. I can always put it back. Like I said, let me erect it up there where it was. I'm going to put it back where it looks like it's not going to distort it. I'm pretty sure I need my SM58 at minimum, bare minimum on Unity. Now, I took out the compressor in OBS, so that's going to help, you know, it not because it was the way it was. Uh, when I was quiet. You couldn't hear what I was saying. I was having to, the last test I did, I was having to turn it up my, all the way, computer volume all the way. <clears throat> and I had gotten around that, quite, you know, before. So, uh, but you want as hot a signal, you want a hot enough signal coming into the you um, to your computer but not so hot that it 
store. It's too easy. Whoops. Now, why won't you move? I'm getting a hold of it and it won't move. There we go. I think that's more like where I had it. Check one, two. Yeah, now it, I can clack my tongue with the SM58 set to Unity and it doesn't hit the red. It'll just, it, 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 you can, it looks like it went into it, but you, it doesn't light up red. So that looks like just where I want it. Um, um, it's a whole, it's, it's just doing, it's figuring this, it's a whole new system now, you know, it is a new, new computer, different sound card, and that little USB sound card is not a real good sound card, I don't think it's quite as good as, uh, I mean, it's, it works, I don't know, the chips in it may not be any worse than the ones in that Lenovo, uh, there's nothing special about that envelope sound, I don't know. but anyway, let's see what all this turns out to be, and then go from there, because, um, yeah, I was keep thinking, well, maybe I want to, um, basically, I would call that the makeup gain. It's got uh, volume, and then it's got master, and I used to always leave the master all the way up, but I started realizing recently, and it may just because this thing's getting older. I mean, it's about almost 20 years old now, about 20 years old. Got it in 01 or 02, and it's 21 now. Um, with it up all the way, it didn't used to make any noise, but I kept started hearing what I was hearing was not a constant noise, but a little noise when the compressor would kick in. You can hear it kicking in. And that is the <clears throat> that is uh, something that, you know, Behr cheaper stuff like Behringer will do. I've used Behringer uh, compressors, you know, rack mount compressors, and I've used mostly DBX. Uh, but I used them in one venue that I mixed at. I help. I went and helped the guy pick out the sound system that owned the club. It was a club. <coughs> it was kind of, kind of. Well, it was interesting. Uh, and then a real experience. It was a dance club, a house dance mix club, and the guy got saved and he wanted to uh, do Christian bands. And so they, they, he got somehow someone hooked him up with uh, Big Dave and Big Dave. He he like booked the bands and all that, and he told him he told him about me, and he hired me. To, I actually got paid too, not a lot, but I got paid, and uh, um, and I and he didn't have a he had a sound system, but it was just for a DJ to mix sound. He didn't have a sound system that you could mix do bands on. He didn't have a mixer. Well, he had a little DJ mixer up in the DJ booth. But anyway, we went and got got a Mackie a VLZ mixer and some uh, QSC amps because he couldn't afford. It. Crown amps and uh, Behr some of the Behr well, I got Behringer. Well, I'm gonna go into all that anyway. I did get to get DBX mixer for the house, I mean, compressor for the house, but Behringer's for the monitoring mixer. Two of them for the monitoring mixer. Really, really helpful to have a compressor on the monitoring mixer. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, let's go out. 